Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. I hope you're doing fantastic out there. In this video today, as you can see, we have an offering from Greener Power. This is a lithium iron phosphate battery, 100 amp hour capacity, and this is their mini battery. Now, right down here, there is their website. And as you can see, it comes in very plain packaging. So I want to say thank you to Greener Power for sending this battery out for a review. As you can see here on the top of the package, it says this side up. You don't want to put these batteries upside down. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look and see what is included in this package. Right here, right off the bat, you can see this wonderful card that shows some of the other products that they offer. They have a wide variety of products that they offer, lithium iron phosphate batteries. So I think they would have a battery that would suit just about anybody's needs out there. I like these little cards. Here on the back, you can see some applications that you can see the battery being used in. And then I really like the question and answer portion down here. So here's some question and answers, just in case you might have been curious about some of that stuff. And I really like that card. The next card that you see is this one here. And this one talks about the product overview. It's got some specs of the battery. There is some dimensions of the battery. This is the mini battery, so it's a lot smaller than other batteries of the lithium iron phosphate 100 amp range. Now here is some charge performance information, as well as some discharge performance information. So very, very cool. I really like these little cards that they include with these batteries. Now on the back, this is the service card, and then it gives you some applications that you could possibly use this battery for. And then of course right here on the bottom it talks about wearing some gloves, make sure you charge the battery up to 100% before you use it. Uh, they ship them between 30 and 50%. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the package here. First thing you see is some foam, and then there is the battery itself right there it's a smaller battery you get a spare set of hardware so that's that m8 uh, bolts very cool and then let's uh, go ahead and pull this battery straight out of here hopefully i can get that thing pulled out there we go not too bad this battery is a lot smaller than your standard 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery it's a little bit lighter too and as you can see it comes packaged very well in this nice bag this is cool because it prevents the battery from getting dirt and dust and all that on it so as they sit in the warehouse you know it's well protected so we'll go ahead and take this tape off take this bag off and we'll get a little farther into this review And you can see that there is some silica gel in there. Very nice. And then let's just fold that plastic down around the edges and take a look at that. I like them little handles. That's pretty cool. We'll just pull this right out. The battery is not that heavy. It only weighs just a little over 20 pounds. They got these nice little rubber covers that go over the terminals of the battery. So that's pretty cool. Now let's take a closer look at these terminals. Now I love it when companies do this with these terminals. These are silver plated copper terminals. This is really nice. It will lower the internal resistance of the battery which ensures a higher current discharge. So it really makes for a good performing battery. And since we're fresh out of the box, let's go ahead and test the voltage. We are 13.16 volts. So I'm going to go set this thing on the charger. There are several ways you can charge this battery. You can hook it up to a solar panel through a charge controller and then you can charge it that way. You can use a generator or you can use an electric charger. This is a 5 amp charger. So something like this would work perfectly fine. 
for charging this battery. However, I'm going to use a little bit larger one. I will use a 20 amp charger, this one here, and this one will charge this battery a little bit quicker. So it's got these little alligator clips. In fact, this battery can go up to 100 amps of charging current. 20 amp charging is ideal for this battery. So we'll just go ahead and hook the negative up. Just like that, you're going to see this little green light will turn red when we start charging. Right there. And I will let this thing charge and I'll come back when that light is green. It'll take a little bit of time. And while we're here charging, I thought that I would talk about some of the specs of this battery. This mini battery is 75% lighter than your standard lead acid battery. That is crazy. And it's one third the size of a standard lithium iron phosphate 100 amp battery. That's 35% smaller than that standard 100 amp lithium iron phosphate battery. This one is nine inches wide, 8.35 inches tall, and 5.4 inches deep. It comes in at 9.48 kilograms or 20.89 pounds. Now for something that small that has a 1280 watt hour capacity, if you take that watt hours, that 1280 watt hour capacity, and you multiply that by the 20.89 pounds, that gives you 61.27 watt hours per pound. That is crazy. Now this battery is made from grade A cells and they say that the service life of this battery is 10 years and you can go anywhere from 4,000 cycles all the way up to 15,000 cycles. Now if you do it 100% depth of discharge, meaning you draw this thing down all the way to zero, 100% depth of discharge, you'll get that 4,000 cycles. And if you bring it down to 80%, uh, you'll get 6,000 cycles. But if you only bring it down to 60%, that's where you'll get that 15,000 cycles out of this battery. Now it does have a 100 amp BMS, which has lots of protection systems. In fact, there's five protection systems to be exact here. It's got overcharge protection. It's got over discharge protection, short circuit protection, over current protection and high temperature protection. Now this battery, just to be clear with you guys, this is not a starting battery to start your vehicle. This does not have cold cranking amps and all that. It's also not the kind of battery that you would want to put in a electric golf cart. That's not the kind of battery for this. You can hook up four of these batteries in parallel or you could also hook up four of these in a series. There is a way where you can hook 16 of these batteries together for P4S configuration. Now when you do that, you'll get 51.2 volts, 400 amp hour, and 20.4 kilowatt hour of energy storage. I think that's fantastic. Now this battery, as you saw on the card earlier, it does say that it has a five-year warranty. Now this battery doesn't require any maintenance like a lead acid battery does. Lead acid batteries, you gotta take those caps off and put distilled water on them. These lithium iron phosphates require none of that. And one of the benefits to that, no maintenance, is they don't off gas. They don't have anything like that. So if you wanted to put this battery into a space where you might be sleeping or living, it's okay to do that with these because like I said, they don't off gas. So if you're gonna be on a boat, maybe you're in a van, maybe you've got an RV, a travel trailer, who knows, maybe your tiny house, or even in a tent camping, you can use this battery safely in those types of environments. Now this battery would be perfect for running a trolling motor on your boat, maybe running a fish finder, or even in an off-grid solar powered situation. You can use it for camping, you can use it for communications, maybe you want to set up your ham radio station, or you want to drag it out to the job site and listen to music all day. You can do that with this kind of battery. This is just a really nice battery. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and let it charge and we'll be back when that light is green. It's getting a little later in the day, so hopefully we still have daylight left when this thing's charged. And now you can see the green charge indicator. Charging is complete. We'll just go ahead and remove these alligators off of the battery. And now let's go test out this battery. So right now I have a standard 100 amp lithium iron phosphate battery. Look at how the size is different. This is so much longer. Look at that. It's got that much more space. And if we want to look at the width, look at that. That is crazy. So this small mini, it really is significantly smaller so even if you look at them in this lineup this is like an inch and a half shorter so this small mini battery really is taking up a much smaller footprint okay now that we're off the charger let's go ahead and take that voltage reading 14.03 that is fantastic 14.03 so recently i tested another 100 amp lithium iron phosphate battery so i want to do the same type of testing in this video with this battery so i'm going to start with a 200 watt uh, little heater here let's go ahead and turn this on let's see what we pull here 120 140 150 170 13.6 volts on the battery here 250 watts 280 watts and the heater is definitely starting to get hot putting out some heat 250 watts so as you can see the mini battery does just fine running this little heater no problems at all and let's go ahead and test this instant pot this is a three quart instant pot uh, it generally draws about 750 watts so We'll test this. This is gonna be a good test for that battery. Looking at the back here, what do we got here? 12.8 volts, 750 watts, 730 watts, 12.5 volts. Anytime that you have electricity moving, sometimes the voltages drop. 750 watts is what this thing's pulling right now. And once it comes up to pressure, then the wattage will drop to almost zero. So we're just gonna let this thing come up to pressure and see how that goes. But as you can see, we're pulling 740, 750 watts, 760, 750. So yeah, it's working just fine pulling that. And as you can see, the timer has started. Our pressure cooker has came up to pressure and now we're drawing zero watts. So this battery worked great getting this pressure cooker up to pressure no problems here I always like to fill the wires and they aren't even warm at all so the battery is doing a fantastic job now this next test is one of my favorites this is a small unit that I can use to cook on I'm gonna plug this in and this unit draws about a thousand watts so it's gonna push the inverter as well as the battery so let's just go ahead and turn this unit on. Right now we're at 11.8 volts on the battery because of such a heavy one kilowatt draw. We are pulling a thousand watts as we speak. So this is a very good test for this battery. I'm gonna go ahead and put on this little pot of water and see if we can bring that water up to a boil. One kilowatt is what this is pulling. And as you can see, the battery is doing just fine pulling that load. As you can see, the water is heating up. So having the ability to boil water, whether that is to cook a meal or purify water or anything like that, it's fantastic to be able to do that out in the field. And having a simple little inverter and a battery like this with your little cooktop here, it gives you the ability to do that. Now I will tell you, you're not going to do that very long. A thousand watt draw on this unit would probably only run for a little over an hour with the 1280 watt hour capacity of this battery. But again, to be able to cook or purify water, that is absolutely fantastic. As you can see, the fan is running on the inverter because I'm pushing that thing. That's a thousand watt inverter and it's being pushed to its max. So the battery is performing very well. These burner coils underneath are red hot and the water is actually starting to come up to a boil. And now looking inside, you can see that we are at a heavy rolling boil. 
and underneath I'm going to try to get a glimpse of that heating element. That thing is red hot. You can see the reflection in the stainless steel portion of the burner and as you can see the battery has maintained off with that thousand watt pool it's came down and stabilized at 11 and a half volts so the battery is working just fine and I'm, I'm really impressed with its performance to be completely honest with you my final thoughts on this battery I like it it's absolutely fantastic and like I said I'm impressed to see a smaller form factor compete and do the same types of things that the larger 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries are able to do. This thing has done everything. It actually exceeded my expectations in this video. So the smaller things, you know, like running a fan that's 100 watts, you could probably run that 100 watt load for, oh gosh, uh, 12, 13 hours. If you had a 500 watt load, probably two and a half hours. So things like this thousand watt burner and having those other things, charging your cell phone and batteries for your cameras and your cell phone and running a laptop, a battery like this is absolutely capable of doing tasks just like that without any problems. So I hope you enjoyed this video, folks. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in this battery, I'll put a link in the description box down below. And I wanna say thank you to Greener Power for sending this battery out for review. With all that being said, folks, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Have a beautiful day. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now, everybody.